One of the 10 ways to take back our country, to fix our broken culture, according to the newest member of the Eagle Library Board, is to join a local library board. As we talked about yesterday, Brian, uh, Brian Allman, a self-proclaimed descendant of American pioneers, an ultra-conservative blogger and contributor to the Idaho Freedom Foundation, was appointed Tuesday night by a unanimous vote of the Eagle City Council. And according to his writings, Allman claims libraries have been captured by left-wing activists who see themselves as woke missionaries in a pagan land, end quote. Yet he offers no evidence of that other than suggesting he a few books he finds offensive on library shelves. The mayor, Jason Pierce, who made the appointment, explained how he narrowed, narrowed down his decision to Almond. As far as the library board, it was a library director. It was I, uh, the chairman of the library board, and then it was our liaison, Councilmember Gundersberger, and myself that were interviewed. Um, I believe we interviewed six different people out of the folks that was seven. Seven, seven out and chose three out of the seven to represent the library board. And then they unanimously chose Amon. We'd been trying to ask the mayor about this appointment several times this week, and our contacts went unanswered until, well, this morning. Mayor Pierce declined our invitation for an on-camera interview, but he did offer this response as to why he settled on someone who believes librarians stock their shelves with propaganda designed to push our society to the left. Mr. Amon and his family are frequent users of the library, Mayor, P mayor Pierce said, and I believe... He will bring a thoughtful and balanced perspective to the board. Balanced was the question we we're going to have him explain because, again, using his own words, Amon says library boards should be composed of solid conservatives who believed in America's traditional Christian values rather than weak-willed quislings or worse, Marxist activists promoting divisive racial politics and sexual degeneracy. Saying he didn't have time to speak with us this week, we didn't get a chance to ask Mayor Pierce, what about that? Sounds balanced.